Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to change the chat font of the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Roblox Studio open, and this will work if you wanna change the chat bar font as well as the bubble chat font. So I will show you how to do both of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a game. And once you have your game loaded, you're gonna to wanna to actually first go ahead and hit play. So go to the top, make sure you have home selected and then hit play. And then make sure you have explore and properties on the right hand side. If you can't see those, go up to view and hit explore and properties. But I'm gonna to go to home, hit play. And then once you are playing your game, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the explore tab and then scroll down to where you see the chat. I'm gonna to wanna to actually click the drop down arrow and then select everything that is in within chat. So from chat modules down to chat script, you can hold shift to select all. And then once you have all of those selected, you can right click and then copy. You could also hit control copy. So the main thing is you wanna copy everything that's in that chat folder. So once you have copied that, go ahead and stop. So uh, make sure that you stop your game. And if you have any problems when you're doing this, make sure to go through each of the steps again and make sure you follow this exactly as you see it. So now that I'm editing my game again, I'm gonna go over to the Explorer tab, scroll down to where I see chat, and you can see with chat, there's no drop down arrow this time. Um, basically what you wanna do is you want to right click, and then now you want to do paste into. So you could also do Control Shift V. So I'm gonna paste everything that I copied into this folder. So now that I've pasted all of those elements into chat, I can now edit them, and now you'll see how I can edit the font. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to edit is go to Client Chat Modules, and then click the drop down arrow. And when you do that, you can see you'll have chat settings. So double click on chat settings. When you double click on chat settings, it will bring up the script in front of you. And so now you're looking at the script. So you want to scroll down, and you're gonna see around line 26 or 27, somewhere around there, module dot bubble chat enabled equals you want to make sure that you delete what's after the equal sign and then just do true and if you're familiar with coding that is a boolean line of code so it can either be true or false and once you uh, have the bubble chat equal true this is if you do want bubble chat in your game you can go down to the font settings this is 38 and 39 so there is a default font and then a chat bar font and i'll show you what each one of those does so i'm going to change the first one so and basically, you only want to change what's after the last period after font. So keep everything up to the word font, and then click delete. And then when you start when you start typing, it'll give you options. So you can see as I type different letters, it gives me the fonts that I can choose from. So I'm going to choose the first one there, Arcade. That one looks like a pretty good font to me. So double click to choose that. And now I'm going to go ahead and play the game with the new font, and so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go back to my base plate, go ahead and hit play. So now you can see the difference between the two fonts. So you see this first part up here, this is that arcade font, so it's got a more kind of like old feel to it. And then this is that normal bubble chat that you're used to. And so if I type in here, it is the same font that you're used to. So now let me show you how to change the bubble chat font as well as the font of this part right here. So you can see I so that everything is in that arcade. So I'm gonna go ahead and press stop. Make sure that when you're uh, going back and forth that you do press stop so that you can change the settings. So now I'm gonna go back to chat. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let's go back to chat settings, I'm gonna double click on that. And remember that line right under this, it was that chat bar font. So I'm gonna change that one. So 38 and 39, you can change to whatever you would like. I'm gonna change them both to arcade so you can see the difference. And then lastly, go back over to Explorer and then scroll down to where you see bubble chat. And I'm going to double click. So when I double click on the bubble chat, there's a lot of code here, but basically you want to scroll down to where you see the script variables. It might be in a different spot for you. The first line being local chat bubble font. So you have line 53 here. And so again, you want to keep everything up until the period and then just change everything after the period. So that's the line of code that's changing the font. So now this is changing the actual bubble font. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to the arcade and double click on that. And then now when I play the game, the bubble font should be arcade. So let's go ahead and test it out. So go back to base plate, I'm gonna press play. And once it's loaded, you can see now we've got arcade and arcade both there. Now let's see if the bubble chat font is arcade. Oh, it is not. So you can see that the bubble chat is still the normal font that it normally is. So let's go ahead and stop this. And this is something that happened to me earlier and there's probably something that happens will happen to you too. So in order to fix what I just saw, go over to Explorer. I had all the lines of code correct, but I need to go to the chat. So now I'm gonna highlight chat and right down here where it says bubble chat enabled behavior, 
I need to unclick that. I know it sounds kind of interesting that you're going to unclick it, but the reason you're going to unclick it is because you actually have a bubble chat in your uh, chat function here. So if you see the bubble chat here, and just make sure that that is that this is uh, unchecked, uh, disabled. So again, so I went to chat and I unclicked bubble chat enabled. So now I'm going to play the game. And now let's see if the font is the arcade that I would like for the bubble chat. So I'm going to go ahead and say bubble chat font. And there it is. So now you can see the bubble chat is an arcade font. As you probably notice, as we're going through the chat settings, you probably notice lines of code that you can change the color and other aspects of the, the bubble chat. Of course, you can play with those uh, lines of code as well and see what you would like to do with your game. So you now know how to change the chat font of the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.